Alrighty, so some of you probably are wondering why we are just in the middle of a plunder game in the random part of the map, which is about here, and we're just standing here with the FFAR. Essentially what we are going to talk about today is some inconsistencies with some of the attachments that appear in, of course, Warzone. Yesterday we did make an FFAR best class setup video, of course, and I still stick by that class setup. I mean, that should be one of the best options that you can go with in the game right now. But it turns out that there's some inconsistencies, as I said, with some of the attachments and listings and stuff like that and the actual effects that they do have. Now, for the most part, like the attachments should be right, but this is something that's sort of left over from Modern Warfare as well. The people who make these games just simply don't know or sort of can't really work out what their attachments actually do. And of course, the attachments that we are talking about today are some of the four groups. Now, we're going to be looking at the recall control that is applied by, of course, the field agent group, the standard like no group option, and of course, something interesting, which is the bruiser group, which as we can see here in the loadout section of this particular option here, if we go edit, we can see in the group slot, the under barrel slot, we have the speed group, the field agent group, and the bruiser group. Now, the bruiser group is the interesting one here today. This All this does is increase melee quickness, but apparently it also increases recoil control by about 20%. Now, I can only imagine that they added the recoil control from the field agent group to the bruiser group, which is just dumb. But we're going to talk about some recalls in here today and show off what we can actually do with these weapons. So from about 12 meters away with the FFAR1, no attachments or anything like that, this is the recoil control that we do get. Which is fairly interesting, but we'll do two as well, just side by side so we can... Bro, go away. <laughs> go away, man. What are you... Anyway, in the meantime, we'll just do another one here just so we can get a decent sort of comparison here. Side by side, this is what they both look like. Now again, from about 12 meters away, this is the FFAR1, of course, with the field agent group. This is the recall control that we do get from this. Now, just by looking at one addition to this lineup, I mean, these are basically the same. This field agent group is currently having zero effect on this recoil control that we do get. You can see very, very few actual differences here. Can you guys leave me alone? Same guy, again. Now, we're going to throw on the bruiser group and we'll show off the recoil control that we can get from that. Now, of course, with the FFAR1, with the bruiser group, we can see the recoil control here. You can already see that it is a little bit closer together. Like you can already see, and it already feels better just simply by playing the, excuse me, sir. This isn't more a visual thing, but it really does just feel better. You can also see that the bullets is a lot, is a lot shorter. It's probably at least 10% shorter than this one, but it's also like the bullets are closer together. And this is from an attachment that doesn't actually like have any recoil controlling properties at all and then you're like why is that the case and this also applies to other weapons as well that do have the bruiser grip to my knowledge this also applies to the krig 6 which we'll just show in just a second here okay so the krig 6 with no recoil controlling attachments does of course look like this now the krig 6 doesn't really have too much recoil as it is but again we'll switch over to the field agent grip and then the bruiser grip and compare these side by side now of course the krig 6 with the field agent grip does look like this of course which as you can see, just simply by shooting the weapon does actually feel very, very similar, if not almost exactly the same. I mean, it is a touch different, like that is a touch different to this, but I mean, the difference isn't large enough to sort of justify using an attachment that does like that little of an effect on your recoil. And then of course the Krig 6 with the Bruiser Grip as well. You can basically already feel by shooting this thing that like, I mean, look at that. Like it's pretty clear that something has gone like just a touch wrong with some of these attachments and that's not really surprising given their previous track record with these weapons and attachments and stuff like that but imagine just jumping into a game of plunder of course just to test things out and getting like absolutely dominated by a random bunch of people all we are saying is make sure you test out your attachments i do appreciate the guy who did point this out to me that this was actually incorrect but i mean this is a fairly significant bug, I'm sure the bruiser grip that only increases melee quickness isn't actually meant to increase your recoil control, but for the time being, it does, and just keep that in mind. Also figure I should make this clear here, the field agent group and the bruiser group, this only sort of recoil stuff applies to the specific bruiser group. This is for example for the FFAR1, and we have tested the Krieg 6 as you did see, but with the bruiser grip, it's not just the grips that do apply melee quickness. For this particular example, it is only the bruiser grip. So it's not like anything else on any of the SMGs or the other weapons and stuff like that is going to do the same effect. But with these assault rifles, the bruiser grip does actually increase your recoil control for some reason. 
and the field agent grip right now really doesn't do too much. There are of course other inconsistencies with some other attachments and that includes barrels and stuff like that for certain SMGs which is kind of interesting and we will of course take a look at that fairly soon but most of this just falls under the category of Warzone being a bit goofy and the crossover not being sort of well thought out and more planned as they thought it was probably going to be. So just to round up this video, we're going to be taking a look at the FFAO class setup again and adjusting it a little bit with these newfound interesting sort of additions that we found. They're a little bit annoying, but whatever. It is what it is. So you still want to continue with that agency suppressor, of course, with that sound suppression and that damage range as well. Extending out our damage range with this particular weapon is, of course, very, very good. With the fast fire, this weapon does play a little bit like an SMG, so the agency suppressor really does help us out here with our damage range. In terms of our barrel, the same guy who did suggest to me, of course, the bruiser group did recommend to me that we try out the range of barrel as well for that increase to our bullet velocity, which is also very, very nice here. It sort of depends on what you do want to choose here. You can basically choose between the effective damage range and bullet velocity increases that we do get from the reinforced heavy barrel, or you can go with the range of barrel as well, just for that bullet velocity. Both of these are fantastic options in this game. You do want to continue on with your optic of choice. We're sticking with the Microflex LED, basically because it is a mid-range, close to mid-range weapon, ideally. So this does help us stay on target at those medium distances. Then, of course, the underbarrel, the big change here, of course, adding the bruiser group to this means we do get that intense amount of recoil control, meaning this is a very, very accurate weapon here. The field agent group we do want to skip over for the time being. I'm sure they will actually fix this once people do start sort of spreading this around, saying like, hey, the bruiser group, which is only supposed to do this, does actually recoil control as well. So bruiser group for the time being, just for that good amount of recoil control that we do get. And of course, the ammunition slot as well depends on what you do want to choose here. Salvo 50 round fast mag is probably a great option as well for the most amount of bullets to fire. But of course, that 38 round speed mag as well. And from some of the testing that's been going around in the community as well, there isn't sometimes a real difference between the 50 round mags and the 50 round fast mags or with aim down side speeds and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Do a little bit of testing for yourself and find out which magazine works best for you. So of course, just to amend that FFAR1 class setup, I still stick by it because the bruiser grip isn't supposed to do recoil control, the field agent grip is. And when that does get changed, the class that we did present yesterday will of course be relevant again. But the bruiser grip for now is of course the kingpin at controlling recoil for some reason. So thank you very much for watching this one. Of course, just know that the bruiser grip is currently the best recoil controlling option for a lot of the weapons that it is able to be done for, but for the time being, we can only see the FFAR1 and of course the Creek 6 having the properties and we haven't really given too much other testing. As I said, thanks for watching this one. I do appreciate it, of course. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on and I will of course see you in the next one. Bye.